Now, new research has found that paying people to quit smoking improves their chances of success by 50%. Incentives given out in trials range from £35 to £912, which is obviously quite a substantial amount. But bearing in mind that smoking costs the UK economy about £13 billion a year, could this not save us money further down the line? Or is it just nonsense, Jane? Guess. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute nonsense. I mean... I presume this money is coming from the taxpayer again. Where, when are people going to take personal responsibility? I mean, if, if wrinkles, bad breath and heightening your chances of getting lung cancer aren't incentive enough, why the hell should you be paid to give up smoking? I mean, just get a grip. Just, you know... Yeah, because it's... It's just rewarding bad behaviour, yeah. if you like. And and also, I just think, do you know how much a packet of cigarettes is? It's something around, like, between 12 and 15 quid, depending on where you bomb. Is so it? It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. But uh, so let's say, for instance, for argument's sake, it's £12, all right? £11 of that is probably tax. Now, that's already a reward if you just stop doing it. You yeah. get you gain £11 every time you don't buy a packet of cigarettes for not doing it and you feel healthier. I don't want to pay people to stop doing things that they no. can just stop doing. And don't say it's difficult to give up, because it's not. Of course it's, it's difficult dead to give easy. Up. It's the most highly addictive. <laughs> people give up heroin easier than they give up cigarettes. Well, no, they don't. It is very, very but what, addictive. But what no, they paying don't. them, how does that make their well, willpower I'm, greater? I don't agree with paying them. First of all, how on earth do you know? So, yeah, I've given up. Yeah, thank you very much. Shh, you know, you'd be off to having a fag. But I do You'll be think... buying fags with uh, the reward. I, I tried to give up smoking multiple times and it wasn't until I got proper help to give it up that I gave it up and thank God, you know, because it is such a dangerous thing to do to smoke. So if there is this money to be spent and from the enormous amount of money that they do take in tax, which then cost the NHS further down the line, anyone that's carrying on smoking will, will cost us a fortune, mm. then put, give, put that money to, put, to give people real help. I mean, what helped me was I had a cessation um, counsellor who actually, I had two or three sessions, totally got into my head about why I was smoking and it really helped me to give up. But when was I'd this? done everything. I'd done hypnotherapy, when I'd done was everything. This? Oh, um... Um, ten years ago. So, did you smoke through your pregnancies? No. So, if you can stop but, smoking because you're pregnant, why can't you just stop smoking yeah, because but, it's not good for you? I didn't drink when flight. I was pregnant. Didn't stop me taking yeah, but, out any but bottles last night. What I mean is, how night. much of an addiction is it if you can stop when you're pregnant? It exactly. is a cracking addiction. No, I, I know it's an addiction, addicted but to you it. can stop. Yeah, but I. Yeah, but it's if different. You, but but. I know that, but you have to... I couldn't stop without help. People keep going, I can't do this because I'm addicted. It's yeah. like, it's mind over no, matter but, 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 at the end of the day. If somebody is saying, listen, I can't do this on my own, can I have help? Why not put the funding into that if somebody really seriously wants to give up, rather than chucking just, like, empty money? Yeah, but hang on, what do you think with that, you... Carol, though? Where would you stand if you were to take this money then and instead of giving it back and as a reward... save the NHS money. ..put it money. back in? Because the, the on offer at the minute, there are face-to-face -face or behaviour support, there's stop smoking medicines, there's group sessions, there's different yeah. things that people can go to. Yeah. If the money went into that, the services, do you think that's still a no, thing or should I it just not think, be done I at still all? think that's like a massive business and I think they don't really want people to stop smoking because they do want the tax from it. So I think it, they try to make it look like they're actually doing something to try and stop people from smoking, but they're not. And the point but is this... every person like, they no, get no, to stop no, smoking, how minute. much money do they you, save the NHS? You say, you say, I couldn't do it, I literally could not stop smoking. Smoking. But she did. For All right. Pregnancy. But you wanted to stop smoking. You wanted to, right? You don't mm. want to do something. You don't do it, right? I don't want to stub cigarettes out on my hands, so I don't do it. I don't want to smoke anymore. So do you anymore, have no so sympathy do it. or understanding no. for anyone with an addiction? <laughs> do you have no sympathy for anyone with it? So, there, so addiction doesn't exist. Because yes, how did you stop it questioning uh, whether it no, even exists? No, I'm not questioning. I'm just saying with cigarettes. And if if it were the case that it was that addictive, actual nicotine and smoking, I think then everyone could addictive. get a patch and put it on, but you don't want to do that 
they want to do that. That's the yeah, smoking that's part, part and that's of, the bit that's really bad that, for you. That is part of the addiction and why I eventually... The actual physical addiction, I think, is over in about 10 days for the nicotine. But you can but break it's incredibly a habit. But incredibly habit-forming. I know but, it but, is, but, but it's but just a habit. But all of this is hanging on the hook of... I have an addiction, therefore I can't do this. Yes, and it's your fault. It's personal responsibility at the end of the day. Nobody's well, making okay, you pick okay. up so, a packet of cigarettes. So I took the personal responsibility and said, I'm We're really struggling. To be quiet. Yeah. I'm really <laughs> struggling doing this on my own. Can I get some help? I got some help. Luckily, I could pay for it, and I stopped smoking. For people that can't afford to get that help, I think if we help them get it, well, they're going to ultimately we save money in the NHS. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we asked you, should we pay people to quit smoking? 80% of you said no. So there you go. Yes. Well, no, I, agree. I, mean, no. I agree with that. Yeah.